With Nigerians' unemployment rate between 23 and 25 percent and the competitive nature of available jobs which are insufficient to accommodate the high turnout of graduates in the country, universities are now increasing the level of entrepreneur awareness among their students. This informed the theme of the 14th Annual Scientific Conference tagged Enhancing Medical and Dental Practice Through Entrepreneurship and Technology. To this effect, business owners operating in Nigeria spoke on sustainable approaches to entrepreneurship. Nigeria ought to have looked at the future and then to have entrenched certain things in terms of entrepreneurship in our programs, you know, a long time ago, but we have failed to do that. And now that we have unemployment on our hands all over the place, and the fallback to that, you know, the consequences of this youth unemployment is actually facing us. So now we have seen it, and then we are just coming now to say, what can we do as far as this matter is concerned? The first thing you do if you are an entrepreneur is that you got to create capital. How do you create capital? You can take a job and show your skill in the place you work. The income you make on it, you keep it because you must learn how to conserve resources, knowing that it is not in plenty supply, that is depletable in nature. Because you have a goal you set for yourself. Don't neglect those boys who you see on the street working. If you apply yourself, I did the research to find what is in Volkswagen that can match in Peugeot. I did the research to find what is in Peugeot that can match in Toyota. And I kept them in my hand as information that I have. It was not the capital my boss gave me that matter, but the knowledge I have. The reason why you have difficulties in life, everywhere you have been in life is a school. It's whether you have the ability to learn, whether you are willing and interested to learn. Life takes you through school, and don't make mistake and think you have a time where you graduated in life. Any day you think you graduate, nature has a way to write you a new subject that you need to study. The number one thing you must have to start a business is you must have something you want to sell a skill, a service, or a product. For us here in the medical profession, it's our skill. So while you are here at medical school, learn all the skills that you can learn. That is what you are going to be selling. The next thing you need to start a business is a lot of passion. Because it's one thing to have a vision, it's another thing to stay focused. 